Hi, my name is Christian. I am blind and I'm learning how to free dive. Uh, I was diagnosed with glaucoma at three years old. It's a genetic dis disease. Um, I lost my sight fully when I was in matric. It was a gradual process. Um, and when I lost my sight, I lost my capability of doing a lot of things. As a kid, I loved uh, doing outside activities and running around and doing new things and on a trampoline and all that stuff. And when I lost my sight, I lost that part of my life. And now with the opportunity of free diving, I'm getting that back bit by bit and learning new things and something that I can potentially be good at. And it's so exhilarating um, and fun. Um, yeah, it's super encouraging for me being able to, to do something that I really enjoy and uh, it's something that I think I can do. The, the first time we went to go try this diving thing out, I, I put on the all of the kit, like the head and the, all, all of it, the shoes, I mean the, the socks and the whatever, and I was like, this I was so stiff. You know? <laughs> and um, uh, when the second time we went, I, I used these scuba fins that are shorter than um, free diving fins and I was told to do, do a couple of laps and I did like four of them I'm like yeah, I'm chuffed at myself because that was difficult and then they're like no man do more I'm like you guys are cruel like what the, this is difficult and then um, we, we switched out the fins for the free diving ones and it was like night and day uh, I could go so much faster and farther with so much less effort the, the mask was a, a, a thing to get used to um, uh, the first time I uh, we, we, the first place we went to, the, all the, the water went up my nose and so then I said no I'm going to use the mask because uh, it's going to keep that from happening. But then uh, other things are so uncomfortable because you have to put it on your face and then the, the beard gets in the way and uh, to suction it on and, and so on. Uh, and then the last time we went uh, I, I took it off and it felt way more natural. Um, Hi, um, my name is Eben Mini and um, I met Christian at church and yeah, we started talking a couple of times um, at gatherings about the idea of going diving and he seemed very keen and yeah, so we tried, we um, got together and we started diving and what an interesting and exciting journey. Guys in our diving groups um, actually asked me if I could train his friend who was blind, who was interested in free diving. So, you know, in my studies, I've, I've got this big passion for uh, working with people with disabilities. I've done so through my sports science and biokinetics um, studies and career. Um, so it's always been a passion for me to to work with this population. It's a it's a population of people that have this ability to. Um, overcome their challenges and then even supersede the expectations of what people think they are limited to do. Why would you free dive if you can't see? Um, because you know to somebody with you know who's got vision um, you know you, you can't you can't imagine doing it without vision you know what, what do I do without my mask? I think what motivated me was just working previously with disabled people, taking them on a river rafting experience and it was incredible how much I didn't know and didn't know about disabled people um, and how capable they are the moment when you create an opportunity. So I think uh, I love the ocean and sharing my love for the ocean with disabled people, getting something in place or making it more, um, yeah, uh, um, convenient for them to go diving and getting the world out there to understand that by changing a couple of things and adapting a couple of things we can definitely open up the the world of adventure sports for people that may be a little bit more challenged. 